Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of The Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens Captain Phasma. I didn't really pick up any of the three and three quarter inch action figures except for Phasma here. I've more or less only been collecting the six inch black series line, but I find this particular character is such a cool looking character. And since she was only available in this scale on Force Friday, at least in my area, this is what I went ahead and decided I wanted to scoop up because I wanted to check her out. Now, all of you guys who collect the four inch figures here, you're in a bit of a dilemma because you either love the five points of articulation or you hate the five points of articulation. That's what Hasbro has gone with, at least for this initial wave of Force Awakens products. So whatever your feeling may be, let's go ahead and check this figure out and see how she is. I keep saying she because yes, Captain Phasma is a female in a Stormtrooper costume. And what's so cool about her is she's got this awesome metallic silver look. And one of the things that I really got to say out the gate is that the packaging on these new Force Awakens figures is absolutely gorgeous. I love the artwork on there. The artwork is so beautiful it almost makes me not want to open up this figure because of how great she looks carded. So that's one thing Hasbro has definitely done well with these figures. The new packaging looks awesome on these guys. And when you flip that box around to the backside, we get a closer look at the figure as well as her accessories. All right, so let's go ahead and get Phasma outside of the packaging and get a closer look. Very cool design, like I said. I already feel like this is kind of like the Boba Fett of this movie in the sense that we don't really know a lot about this character, but the character's so cool looking that everybody seems to be drawn to her right away. I mean, how cool is a chromed out Stormtrooper costume? That just looks awesome. And I gotta say that Hasbro did a really great job of capturing this in action figure form. It does just have that basic articulation. So the head is ball jointed there, which means we can kind of look the head left and right. You can slightly roll it around, get a little bit of up and down movement. The arms just move forwards and backwards and the legs just move forwards and backwards. Now, personally, I don't mind the five points of articulation. I actually really liked the Rebels figures that had the five points of articulation. I thought it suited those very well. But at the same time, uh, you know, as somebody who was a huge collector of the Star Wars line for a long time, I definitely appreciate those really nicely articulated figures as well. I will say that for what she is, I think she's really nice. I do hope that we get a more articulated figure down the road at some point, but this is still a very solid feeling figure. The sculpt is really nice on here. I feel like Hasbro did a great job of capturing the overall look of the character. And the silver paint that is used is very shiny. Now, I would have liked to actually see this maybe vac metalized so that it was a really chromed out silver the way she kind of looks in the film. I think that really would have made this stand out. But... As it is, I do think that the silver paint that is used is still very nice. It has a really nice shine to it, especially when you get it under the right lighting. Uh, it is laid on a little bit thick in some places. You can kind of see it's a little thick on the legs here, but for the most part, the paint job is very clean and very well done. She's also got this cape. It's made of a softer plastic, so you can see it's a bit flexible there. Flexes around, doesn't hinder the movement or anything like that. It's just draped over one shoulder. And here's one thing that's nice. You can remove the cape, by popping off the head, the head comes right off the ball joint. We can take the cape off just like that. We can pop the head back on. And now we've got Phasma without the cape, which looks equally as cool. So I love that we have the option to display her with or without that cape. Now, Phasma comes with two accessories. First of all, we do have a standard blaster, because you got to have a blaster with your Stormtrooper, right? Uh, it's pretty neat. It's made of a nice, stiffer plastic, so it's not um, going to warp or anything like that. It's shaped a little warped. I think that's just from the packaging, but it's not gummy. It doesn't bend, so that's not too bad. And you can see it's just kind of cast in a silvery plastic. It's a bit of a different color from the rest of her armor there, and it's got a little bit of paint deco. And you can hold it in either one of her hands there. So we can do it right-handed or left-handed, whatever you prefer. Now, the second accessory that she comes with is a bit wacky. And this is one of those things that happens every time we have a movie year, especially with Star Wars figures. The movie year figures are always a little bit more gimmicky, right? They always come with some accessories that are more oriented for kids. And I think that's exactly what we've got going on here. This is just this really bizarre accessory that Phasma can hold on to with both hands. 
and she can hold it out in front of her like this, and it's just got this little spinny blade on it. I don't know what this is. It looks like she's going to mow her space lawn. <laughs> it's a dumb accessory, straight up. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's really weird, but um, they're doing this thing with these figures where they're, they're kind of doing like this build a weapon or combine a weapon. So there's a little sheet that comes with it. I guess I had her holding it upside down too, so here. I'll put it in her hand proper. Hold on. That way it's not pointing towards the ground quite as much. But yep, there it is. It's still dumb, regardless of how she's holding it. Um, so you get this little chart here, and it lets you know on here that if you combine Captain Phasma's weapon with Kylo Ren's weapon with Luke Skywalker's weapon all from the same wave, you can build some kind of weird weapon. I don't know. But there you go. That's what we get with this. <laughs> All right, stupid weapon aside, <laughs> and the fact that she's got the five points of articulation, I'm still going to say this. It's a very solid action figure. I'm really glad that I picked this up. I'm glad to have some sort of representation of this character in my collection. And like I said, I do appreciate the five points of articulation for what it is. I know it's not for everybody, um, but it's kind of neat. It definitely has a vintage feel to it, which I like. I just hope that at some point Hasbro does plan to release some more highly articulated three and three quarter inch action figures for the collector as well. But it's a pretty neat figure. I would suggest picking it up if it looks like something that you would enjoy, especially if you think this character looks cool. So Captain Phasma just hit stores for Force Friday, and hopefully it's not going to be too hard to track her down. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.